Today on JIC Labs, we're going to format some cells. Let's get started. Today we're going to take our data from looking like this and make it look like this. We're going to go over all the formatting tricks that can help you transform your data to a much more visually appealing table. So we're going to jump back over to our original data and we're going to look at this. First thing that it is, we want to put a title into our Excel sheet. So we're going to click on line one because we want to insert a line above it. And on our home tab, on the right hand side, we can click on insert. You can also right click and say insert rows, but today we're just going to do that with our home ribbon. Next thing we want to do is have sales 2021 JIC Labs Sales Report Centered. So we type that into cell A1. Well, that's not centered. Well, we come up to the home ribbon and we click on center. Well, that doesn't do it. Well, you know, what if I make cell A bigger? No, nope, that still doesn't do the trick. Luckily for us, Excel has a built-in feature. If we're going to highlight everything above our columns, that would be A through G. And we come up to the top on the home ribbon and we click on merge and center. It's going to eliminate all the borders and all the spaces between the cells and in essence, make it one giant cell. And it's going to center whatever we have there. So we're going to click on that and here we go. Now, if you click on A2, you can see this is all in A2, but if we come back up at the top, it's A through G1 is all one, one cell. So we're going to make it a little bit larger. And there we go. That's one step closer. We want to change the date. We want them more uniform. So we're going to highlight all of our cells and we're going to hit control one. Control one brings up the format cells window. And since we want to look at the dates, that's going to be a number. So you can number general number accounting, so on and so forth time, but we're looking at dates. So we're going to select date and we want to have the two digits for month two digits for day and two digits for the year. And if you click on any of these, you'll have a sample right here. We're going to hit OK and we're going to see that all the dates have changed to the formatting in which we selected. So that's one start. Next thing we want to do is we know all of these in D through F and the totals are in dollars. We can come back up to the general tab and just click on the dollar sign and that will default everything here to the dollars. We also know the max, min, and average sales were also in dollars. So we're going to click on that and set everything as dollars. GP percentage we know was percentages. So we're going to highlight all of this data. And then right here in the home ribbon, we're going to click on percentage. But to show you another way, we're going to hit control one and bring up the formatting cells window. Now that we have the formatting cells window come in, we can come in here. And we're going to see that it is a percentage and it, we can set it for the decimal places, zero decimal places, or we could have as many decimal places as we want. If we hit OK, we can see that now everything is formatted with percentages up to three decimal places. The same thing could be accomplished in the home ribbon by clicking on the percent sign and using here, these two, increase decimals and decrease decimals. So we want to decrease, or I'm sorry, we want to increase the decimals. So we click on that. We want to decrease and just show whole numbers. We click over here. Uh, they can be done both through control one, which is cell formatting or here on the home ribbon. Next thing we want to do is highlight our header column and we want to give it a nice slant just for visualization. So we can come up here. It has a shortcut key for orientation. This would automatically rotate everything 45 degrees, but it has a drop down window, so it's not very good for showing. So once again, we're going to go to control one formatting cells, and we're going to go into alignment In alignment. We can set a bunch of features. We're going to go to over here on the right hand side. You have 
90, 45. So we want to select 45 degrees. You could also come down here and, you know, do 43. And it will change it up here as a sample. But we're going to just keep everything at 45. For now, we're going to leave everything <clears throat> horizontally centered and vertically on the bottom. And we're going to hit OK. And now we can see everything is formatted that we had highlighted in row two in our header column is now at 45 degrees. Now let's just say we want everything centered in these, all of our data centered. Once again, we highlight everything we want to change. We come back up to the home ribbon and we can hit the center right here and it will center all of our data. Once again, if we hit control one and we bring up the formatting cells window after we hit control one, we can do right here, it, everything will be set centered horizontally and vertically it will be on the bottom of the cell. And if we hit OK, we will see everything exactly the same as it was. Now let's just say, for example, we make the height of row 13 a little bit taller. Since this is formatted at bottom of the cell, everything stays at the bottom. Let's highlight these cells again, go into Control-1, format the cells window, and we want everything vertically center. And we're going to hit OK. And we'll see that, that now this data is in the center of this row. If we make it bigger or smaller, it will remain centered within that row. Now we're going to make this row a little bit back to size to keep with our formatting of our example over here. Remember, our end goal is to make this sheet look like this sheet. So I've noticed we wanted everything down here centered as well. So we will highlight and click the center button. We also want to bold these titles. So what we want to do now is start making some of our borders. We're going to highlight these max, min, averages, number, and invoices. And once again, we're going to hit control one and bring up the formatting cell window. Now that we have this up, we go from any tab. We happen to be on the border tab is where we want it to be. We click on the border tab and we can easily highlight what we want to say what thickness of our lines. We can also set a color. It defaults to black, but as for this example, let's make everything red. We come and hit the outside in the inside because that's what we want to do. Or we can also add in diagonals or none. Or we could come through here and click all of the borders. But the shortcut is outside and inside. That'll cover everything that is in your highlighted area going to go ahead and hit OK. And now we can see that we have red borders around all of our data. Now we want to highlight the rest of our data so that we can set the borders. Again, you can come up to the home ribbon and do it through here. But we prefer going to the format cell window and setting everything that way and hitting OK. Now that you noticed, we have our borders, but now we have these two cells that we don't want with borders because it's just data blank spaces. So we can highlight these guys. And if we set no borders, it would take the borders off all the way around all of these guys, these two cells, A and B13, and it would leave no border on the perimeter. And that's not what we want. So once again, we're going to hit control one. We're going to look at our formatting cell window. We're going to look at the borders and we can see here we don't need a border on the bottom. We don't need a border on the left hand side and we don't need the border in between the cells. So we have left with a very weird look in seven or this corner, which is when we hit OK, exactly what we wanted. A very long corner, it blocked out these cells and now we're good to go. Now we want to add a little bit of color to our cells. So we're going to highlight all of the cells in which we want to add a color to. We can come in here and hit the fill color and it will automatically insert the color that it's selected to. Again, we can come in here, highlight, hit the little paint bucket, or again, you can hit control one, bring up your formatting of cells, go into fill, select the color that you want 
and hit OK. Likely so, come in here, highlight row two. Now you could just highlight row two, and if you pick the color, but the problem is with doing that, it's gonna highlight all of row two. We'll show you. See, it's going all the way across. Well, we don't want that. We just want our header column sorted. We're gonna highlight A through G. We're gonna come up to the home ribbon and select fill. Now we can see all of our data has a little bit of color, but what we wanna do is not have it all in the same exact color, so we're going to select invoice number by clicking on the down drop arrow in blue on fill and making a slightly different color. So let's take a look at our data and good job, Josh. We have things reversed, but we see where we're getting at. We're going to highlight our totals. We can hit control one, go to the fill tab and select the color we want there, or we just can come up to the top and select the fill color. One more thing we need to do, we need to take our headers and get them centered above their columns. So if we highlight all of row two, come up to the home ribbon, and we can click on center. Likely so if we hit on the right, it would put everything on the bottom, but it looks a little bit nicer in our opinion if we center it all. So let's take a look and see how we did. So this is what we just went through. Eh, pretty close, I swapped the colors. And we have this red border down here, but that was just an example to show you that your border did not have to be black. A little bit of formatting goes a long way. We took five, 10 minutes to format everything, give it a nice visual representation. So when you print this or email this report, it just makes things look a little bit better to the person who is receiving it. Now that we've taken you through how to manually do your formatting, Excel also has some preset table formats that you could use. So right now we're going to very quickly show you how to get back to square one sort of kind of. So if you come back and select, highlight and change your angles, we highlight everything. We can come in to control one, bring up our formatting cells window again. We're going to say back in background color, no color. We're going to say borders, none. Alignment is going to be straight and everything is going to be good. So there's one thing, everything we're doing on each one of these tabs, no color, no borders, alignment, all of that will change everything. When we hit OK, we can see that all of the borders and everything are gone. Now that we have pretty much all of our coloring and borders and everything taken care of, and we showed you how you can manually format and give your report its own flavor. Excel has a lot of built-in tables and formatting as well for you. So we're going to highlight our data. We're going to come into the format as a table and see all of these settings. We can come in here. We're going to select one style, blue, and it's going to highlight. Is this where your data is? And it's asking you, does your table have headers? Yes, it does. We're going to click OK. And here we go. It has formatted our data as a table for us are applied to auto filters and it has done everything we just did a little bit more quickly with a formatting and it has even given every other line its own color. Excel has a number of preset formats that you can use to make your data into a table that saves you the time and effort of going through and filling in the colors, formatting. You could do either way. The choice is yours, but there are tools for either way for you to get your data formatted quickly and easily in Excel. I always recommend doing it manually when you're first learning. That way you take the time, you go through the process, you understand what needs to be done, and you can learn by trial and error. But if not, you can always format as a table and use one of Excel's preset formats. Thank you for joining JIC Labs today as we explored formatting in Microsoft Excel. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when our video comes out next week. Thanks and have a great day. It gives it a little bit more nicer visual. Thank you for joining JIC Labs today as we explored formatting. Blah, 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 blah.